Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams, and I am privileged today to be joined on the summit by Donnie Dodge. And we're going to talk about a fantastic organization that has just come across my radar. I know you guys have been around for a little while now, heading into a fourth year, but uh, this is something that is incredibly cool. We're talking about athletes for children. And Donnie, I want to just go ahead and open it up to you and, and let you tell us exactly what this is all about, what you all do and how maybe some of the athletes that are watching now can be a part. Well, I really appreciate you having me on. Um, it started back in 2018 uh, when my son Garrison Dodge, who's a receiver for the Peru State Bobcats right now, uh, he was in high school. He's going into his uh, senior year of high school, and we needed, we wanted to get him some community service hours um, just to just to show that you know he's not just living and breathing football and basketball <laughs> and school. It's he needs to care about his community. And so we kind of, we were brainstorming and uh, we came up with athletes for children and Garrison was six weeks premature. Uh, he was born at two and a half pounds. Uh, his, uh, his mother developed uh, what's called preeclampsia where basically the, the body's just trying to get rid of, get rid of the baby. So it was an emergency C-section and, uh, there was a, a very good chance that one of them wasn't coming out of that emergency uh, surgery. And so he's always been pretty passionate about Children's Hospital in Omaha. Uh, his older sister, my, my oldest uh, daughter, Lily, uh, spent two weeks in an incubator uh, after being born premature uh, at Children's Hospital in Omaha. And so if you're passionate about the charity that you, that you want to help, it's, you're, you're going to give it everything. And so we came up with, we were, bo we're both into uh, fantasy football, stuff like that. And we're like, well, what if we could find a way to kind of turn this into a fantasy fantasy league almost? And so he's like, well, what if I just donate a dollar for every catch and $5 for every win that we have as a team? And, uh, I, and that sounds great. So that's, that's where Athletes for Children was born. And uh, it's it's really really taken off over the last over the last. We're just starting our fourth year now. That is fantastic. I love that idea. I I listen. I was a proponent of fantasy football from <laughs> from the beginning. <laughs> but to get to be a, I mean, you're you're living fantasy football now to an extent. And in, in in what's going on in, in Garrison, not just playing on the high school level now, and playing with Peru State now and as a as a college athlete. Uh, for him and, and uh, your perspective on him getting to take ownership for something like this, it's not just now a senior project. It's not just now something from high school. This is really developing. Well, we were lucky enough last year, I believe it was last year, the uh, NAIA uh, opened up the NIL for the athletes. And so Garrison and uh, a volleyball player for Peru State, Matty Nichols, uh, they, they were going to do it irregardless of uh, whether or not the NCAA opened it up. Well, then the NCAA opened it up, and that gave a lot of the athletes that that were from the state of Nebraska that ended up at Division One, Division Two levels. Uh, it gave them the opportunity to come back and be part of the team. So we've just in our first day of announcements, we've uh, covered uh, NCAA Division One, Division Two. Uh, and NAIA. We've got a, a young man up in uh, Minnesota State, Moorhead, uh, that used to uh, play high school ball in Nebraska. He was actually teammates with Nick Henrich. Nick Henrich is an all-star linebacker for the uh, Nebraska Cornhuskers. Uh, we've got an offensive line na uh, lineman named Noah Stafersky who played high school ball in Nebraska, and now he's at Nebraska. So we are, and then, and then the high school kids. The high school kids are coming out of the woodwork because they want to be part of the team. They want to be on that same team with with guys like Nick and guys like Garrison. So we we were very lucky that we have a lot of very caring individuals that want to use their name, not to not to make ten thousand dollars standing at a car dealership. When you know, all, more power to anybody that can do that. But these kids, they want to use their name, their image, and their likeness for good they want to use it to raise money for children's hospital we're speaking now here with donnie dodge on midwest sports net and uh, i encourage you please subscribe to the channel we talk about small college sports and more and donnie i i, I want to stay there just for a moment too because i i like i like what you said there, there is nothing inherently wrong with raising money to, to use the, you know your opportunities with an nil to to make some money along the way and more power to the folks for doing that but 
but there's something to giving. There's something to sowing. There's something to uh, making sure that you are are giving of yourself to somebody else, and it makes a difference. I mean, it, it really can shape a person's life. It literally costs, and I've I've said this to to Garrison for as long as I can remember. It literally costs nothing to be a good person. It doesn't cost you anything. Maybe your time, but when your time is going towards something that is helping people, then yet that time is is significantly worth more than it is if you're just sitting around doing nothing. And for these kids to be willing to step forward and to lead by example and say, hey, you know what? I'm going to do what I can to make sure that I raise as much money as possible, that I can get the money where it needs to get to, to an organization like Children's Hospital. And I've said this before as well. I was that dad that sat in the waiting room waiting to find out which one is going to come out alive. I've sat next to that incubator 36 hours in a row praying and hoping that that my daughter would one day be normal and 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 be successful and it was because of those those doctors and nurses it was because of children's hospital that all of those things turned out okay and if we can go out and play a football game or play a volleyball match or or play a, a baseball game and we can raise some money so that that NICU can continue to thrive it's it, it just makes you, it makes you feel good inside. There's there's no other there's there's no other feeling like knowing that you're helping someone that desperately needs that help, and that's what athletes for children is 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 all about. All right. Well, then, how do people get involved? Of course, the website just to, so folks can can see it is athletesforchildren.com, and and four is the number four. So mm-hmm. athletesforchildren.com. How do they go and and, uh, get to be a part of of this and and be a part of something bigger than themselves like this? Well, they can get a hold of us on any of the social media platforms. We're we're on on Twitter and Facebook and and, uh, Instagram and whatever whatever else the kids are doing nowadays. (laughs) (laughs) But the the easy way is just to go to our website, uh, athletes4children.com, and there's a a contact us page. and, and to let everybody know, it, it, it's a very simple process. It's you come in and you say, I'd like to be part of the team. And then we figure out how you'd like to donate. We throw a picture together. We get you on. And, and then we just ask that you share some of the posts because that's how we get our word out. Um, people ask about T-shirts and stuff like that. And I'd rather, I'd rather just donate the money than, than, than print up T-shirts. Um, it's, they, they, can, they can come onto the website. They can reach out to us. And... There's a uh, there, there's there's something very special about athletes for children that a lot of people don't realize. We are not a 501c3. We we never touch the money, not a nickel of the money. The sixteen thousand dollars that we've raised in the last four years, we've never touched a dime of it. It all goes directly to Children's Hospital. We ask you to donate. We've got a link on our on our our fa- or our, our web page that takes you directly to Children's Hospital. So it's a very secure donation that you make and you just make it in uh, in tribute to athletes for children. You type our name in the and and it explains everything on the on the on the website and then Children's Hospital tracks it for us. We we have been working hand in hand with children since day one before we even uh, attempted to start this. We went through and that was that was kind of fun to to go through the paperwork so Garrison could see as a as a high school senior to see some of the hoops that you need to jump through to do something <laughs> yeah. like this. Um, but we didn't, we, we wanted to make it as, as simple as possible and as secure as possible because people are scared to, people are scared to just start giving out their, their own information and people are scared to just throw 40 bucks at a kid that they don't know. Right. So we would love if there's anybody out there uh, in the, in the, uh, in the area, whether it's Nebraska, we're in, we're in three States now, uh, Nebraska, Iowa, and Minnesota, uh, if you're in, if you're in Missouri, if you're in uh, Western Iowa, we would we'd love to have you. We would love to have you aboard. We started out, we started out small, and in the last three years, we have crested 140 different athletes from 29 different towns and 27 different uh, schools 
So we are growing every day and we would, we would love to have you aboard to help raise as much money as possible for Children's Hospital and Medical Center in Omaha. Well, and thanks to the internet and opportunities that we have here in 2021, I mean, we're not limited to, to just right there inside Omaha city limits. I mean, you can go all around and, and people from different states can be a part of this. And, and I think that's incredibly cool. Last thing, Donnie, and I just wanted to, uh, to throw this out there for anyone that, that wants to be a part of this, uh, they're, they're, you're, you're, you're not limited but but you're not stuck it you have to do something i mean you're talking about different levels different sports different gauges you know however you want to do this uh you know a couple dollars for a win and a uh, dollar for a catch a dollar for a touchdown uh for for a kill for a home run for whatever the case may be three-pointer you, you know and, and it doesn't have to be a dollar could be five it, you know I, I guess the the limitations are really only up to you we yeah you're limited by your your creativity it really it really is and when we would be more than happy to to work with somebody we want you to stay within your budget obviously uh, college age kids and high school kids um it doesn't need to be fifty dollars a win right nobody's, nobody's right. expecting that um <laughs> i think the most creative one that we saw was uh, it was 10 cents a yard which doesn't sound like much when you when you're throwing a dime out there but considering this kid was 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 rolling in 200 yards a game that adds up pretty quick yes so yes any sports any town any team it's we, we we welcome we welcome everyone well we encourage that and and listen here on midwest sports net uh, we want to support you all as well so we'll find a way to do that donnie dodge and garrison dodge his son a receiver at peru state this year and uh, by the way, I'm hoping that uh, the Bobcats get to play some games this year. We want to talk about a, <laughs> a football team that, uh, you know, we, we've talked about stops and starts last year. I don't, I don't think anybody dealt with more stops than what Peru State had to deal with last year. And so I'm hoping he gets to play some games and gets to contribute as well. They're chomping at the bit to get out there and hit somebody other than each other. <laughs> I, I believe that. I believe that. Donnie, thank you so much for taking time with us today. Success to you, to Garrison, to the Bobcats, and to Athletes for Children as we look forward to the 2021 season getting underway. Thank you very much for having me.